Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at creating a postage stamp shape edge on a shape in Adobe Illustrator. I'm going to start with a new file. I'm just going to use something that's a thousand pixels by a thousand pixels. Yours can be any size that you like. I'm going to set this document up with a shape color, a fill that's a sort of blue color and a stroke that's black. They need to be different colors or you won't see what's going on. Going to the rectangle tool and you're just going to drag out the shape that you want to use to give it the stamp edge. So whatever shape you want, rectangle, square, it doesn't matter. We're going now to the stroke panel. Now you can click on stroke here to get to that or you can go to window and stroke. I find this a little bit easier to use. I'm going to click here to open up this entire panel. The stroke we're going to make is a dot and to get it to work perfectly you need to go here to align stroke to center. So make sure if your dialogue isn't set up for that that you've got the stroke aligned to the center. So I'm just going to increase the weight right now. I'm going to set my cap to round. That's really important. And I'm going to click here on dashed line. And what that does is it gives us this look if you've got these settings in place. You need to have a dash of zero. It absolutely has to be zero or else your little dots are going to start to become eggs. And so we want zero for dots. And the gap is the space between these. And so that's going to be sort of you need to look at the gap and the weight of the line to determine what you want. I'm going to bring my gap in a little bit further and so this is ultimately going to be the stamp edge, the bit that we're seeing in blue, if you can sort of think about the fact that the black bit is going to be removed. So once you've got the sort of balance between the size of the edge and the spacing of it, make sure that you have this option set so that the corners look really neat. Otherwise, they won't look neat. You can see over here they look awful and down here even worse. So you need this setting here. So you want to spend a little bit of time in this dialog. Just make sure you've got everything looking good because in a minute we're going to get rid of the black bits basically. With the shape still selected we're going to object and then expand appearance. Now what this does is it just expands it to separate the dots and the background but it does something really weird that we have to work through. What it does is that these are not dots. Say that they look like filled shapes, but over here they're actually a stroked shape. So we have to go one step further. Again, with this entire rectangle selected, and we're going back to object, and this time expand is available. A second or two ago we used expand appearance. Now we're going to use expand. And what that does when we click OK is it's actually going to make these circles into filled shapes. And now with everything selected we're going straight across to the Pathfinder panel. If you don't see yours choose Window and then Pathfinder. And we're going to click here on the second option which is minus front. So we're just going to click there and you can see that that just removes the black dots from our shape and now we have a shape with our stamp edge. It's as easy as that. The tricky bit is going to be to remember to do the expand appearance and the expand because if you don't do that it will not work. So I hope that that helps and thank you to the subscriber who asked me this question. It's an awesome question and it was really nice to be able to produce this video to give you a hand with this design. If you like carefully researched content like this clearly presented in a step-by-step -step format so that you can get great results, then you'll love my Skillshare content. I'm a Skillshare top teacher. I have hundreds of short courses on Skillshare that you can access along with thousands of other great courses, all for the price of a single subscription. If you're interested, there's a Skillshare coupon for you in the description below to use to sign up. Using this coupon benefits me as a creator and it helps me continue to make free content available here for you also on YouTube. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. On the screen now you'll see a video that I've handpicked for you. If you enjoyed the video you've just watched, I know that you're going to really enjoy the one I've picked for you to watch next.